Howard Phillips Lovecraft. And today's question comes from one of those disquieting Canadians, Mr. Wells, who is suffering from writer's block and wants to know what he can do to overcome this affliction. Mr. Wells, I, I appreciate your situation. There are few things as insidious as writer's block, where, where the mind seems to sabotage itself and, and thoughts pile up and yet somehow never truly translate themselves into anything communicative. I know when it came to my own writing, I often would work in fits and starts, writing furiously for a time and then setting the project aside and coming back, oh, months later to finish it. This is not exactly optimal, so we will have to figure out what works for you. In general, I have found that there are two wonderful motivators to getting work finished. The first is promise of a paycheck, and the second is a deadline. We are not always so lucky to uh, have promise of payment, but deadlines are easier to come by. Even an artificial deadline can impose a certain discipline which makes the mind come up with solutions we had not hitherto considered. So think about trying something along those lines. In the end, though, thoughts are strange creatures. We are not automatons. We cannot simply force work out. We are organic, messy, problematic. We need to coax our thoughts from time to time. And to do that, I recommend reading, going out, seeing the world, trying to find inspiration where it lives, as opposed to sitting hunched over your desk. You'll find that thoughts fly about in the ether and are harder to catch when one is sitting idly by. At the end, though, you will know what works best for you. There are no tricks. You cannot fool yourself into writing. You simply have to eventually get down to it. Unless, of course, you're writing for the stage. In that case, all you need to do is drink. Yes, I think that should do it. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.